Hello and welcome to Loving Tech Life. In this video, we're gonna connect this PS4 controller to this PC, let's get into it. First thing you're gonna do is open up the Bluetooth settings on your PC. A quick way to do this is to press the Windows K shortcut, which brings up the wireless display and audio devices side panel. From here, click on Find Other Device Types at the bottom and it'll open up the Bluetooth settings. Alternatively, you can also do this by just typing in Bluetooth in the Start menu and clicking Bluetooth and Other Device Settings. From here, it's important to make sure Bluetooth is switched on. If your PC doesn't have Bluetooth, you can add it with a dongle. I'll leave a link to some Bluetooth dongles in the description below. Now that you've confirmed that Bluetooth is switched on, then go ahead and click on Add Bluetooth or Other Device. Next, you will want to put your PS4 controller into pairing mode. To do this, you'll need to hold down the PlayStation and Share buttons for a few seconds until you see the lights flashing on the controller. Now that your controller is ready to pair, you can click on the Bluetooth option and a list of devices will show up. The PS4 controller will appear as wireless controller. Go ahead and select this and Windows will set up the controller. On the controller itself, you'll notice the flashing lights are now just a solid color. Next, you can head over to Steam and select Big Picture Mode, then go to Settings, Controller Settings, and tick the box for PlayStation Configuration Support. You will see the PlayStation 4 listed under Detected Controllers. You can go ahead and select this and then Preferences. It gives you some additional configuration options. Here, you can rename your controller, adjust rumble preferences, as well as the player slot LED. One cool option is the ability to adjust the controller light color to whatever you want, as well as the controller light brightness and saturation. You can go ahead and hit Submit once you're finished. Another option for connecting your DualSense to your PC is connecting it with the cable on the back of the controller. Lastly, if you want the best of both worlds and want to connect it wirelessly with the most game compatibility, you can install some additional software. Two options available are DS for Windows or DualSense X, which is out of the scope of this video, but you can easily find them with a search on Google. Thank you for watching, and if this video helped you out, please go ahead and smash the like button below, and I'll see you in the next one.